I had to start learning cybersecurity today, I would do it very differently. And I'm going to tell you why. Not because um, the industry changed. However, it's because the lies stayed the same. Let me save you years. So if you plan to learn cybersecurity starts with, well, let me first learn how to hack. And maybe if I learn how to hack, I will be able to secure systems. Well, those who told you that um, either misunderstand this or they don't know what they are talking about because cybersecurity doesn't reward excitement. Well, excitement is, of course, we need to be excited to do something. Motivation is important. However, in cybersecurity, like in any other discipline field, um, patience, boredom tolerance, and stubborn consistency is what matter. And basically, if you ask anybody who has been years in this field, they will tell you the same. You see, cybersecurity is not basically hacking. Hacking is just a symptom. In cybersecurity, we have to learn why a system exists, how it breaks, and why it keeps breaking the same way every decade. So if I started today, I would not, you're not going to believe it. I would not touch Metasploit for months. And this might be very bold. However, I think it is, from my perspective, it makes sense. Because before you touch Metasploit, you're going to have to learn uh, some basics on how to read uh, Python, code written in Python, code written in JavaScript, because in Ruby as well. And because these exploits, they are basically uh, a code written to exploit a certain bug. If you don't know how to read the code, and if you just go around running a Metasploit, um, exploit this, run, set options, I mean, you're basically misunderstanding the whole field. So if I restart today, um, I would go for the boring stuff. And I believe you know what I'm talking about. So here, it is the boring IT, the stuff that do not get likes, the stuff that uh, gets skipped all the time. Learn basic IT. Basic IT is actually underrated in cybersecurity. Most people, they just want to find a shortcut uh, to uh, jump in and get an immediate role, maybe as a junior SOC or a junior pen tester if they are getting started. However, if you don't learn the basic IT, like networking, operating systems, yeah, basic programming languages, you need to be not maybe fluent. However, you need to know how to read code written in Python, in Ruby, in JavaScript. If you just skip all of that and go get CompTI Security Plus, well, you might, you might get a job. However, later you will find out that you have done it the wrong way. So why I am just stressing the importance of IT? Because painfully speaking, every advanced cyber attack, it is just basic IT misunderstood at scale. So then I would jump straight to the cloud not after years, immediately, because everything is shifting to the cloud. In my SOC analyst course, I have talked about the importance of cloud and why it is actually a matter of, uh, an essential matter to any SOC analyst to learn cloud essentials. Because you see companies these days, they do not run um, on local labs anymore. Active Directory uh, is being outsourced from the on parameters to the cloud. More and more companies are jumping on Azure Active Directory. They are shifting they are shifting the resources uh, from uh, on-parameters to the cloud. And more importantly, ha ha attackers uh, do not just stop at targeting your firewalls or trying to find a way to escape these rules you create in your firewalls. And of course, logs that do not live where you think they go. So what I would do here, right after learning basics IT, I would jump straight into the cloud. I would learn cloud identities, VPCs, instances, uh, DNS, Cloud DNS. You might uh, pick one platform of your choice, depending on your preference, or depending maybe on in where you work, like AWS, GCP, or uh, Azure, and start learning how uh, the, the cloud platform works. Okay. Now, next after IT and the cloud, I would start learning AI. Yes, AI, the thing that everyone hates or fears. You see, I would not fear AI. I would actually abuse it because. If I ignored AI today, I would be training for a job that maybe won't exist. So how would I use AI? Basically, I would use AI to explain concepts, review logs quicker, and basically write scripts that you don't want to write. Maybe you want to write a quick script that must be written in a programming language which you happen uh, or which you don't know. So use AI. It's not a shame, right? Moreover, you could use AI to learn twice as fast as people with eco problems. You see, I believe that AI uh, does not replace cybersecurity people or anyone in any field. It basically replaces those 
who are slower learners, but with pride issues. Now let's talk about non-technical skills. So basically, the most important skill that I would try to learn today if I started learning cybersecurity, it is patience. Because you see, nothing works from the first time, or the second, or the fifth. You have to always try and try until it works. Of course, there is some point where you have to stop trying because obviously, at some point, uh, it should work, right? However, it, if it still keeps um, going the wrong way or if it keeps going south, then you might have to change the way you are learning or to change the way you are approaching the problem. And the other skill is persistence because, you know, quitting quietly is the most common career path these days. I know I have written an article previously about quitting cybersecurity and because of the burnout and basically quitting at some point might be necessary but it should come after years of trying to persist and being patient now after years of persistence if something's still not working or something's still going the wrong way now quitting might make sense but you have to show persistence across uh, years okay so patience and persistence three self-learning okay because nobody will hold your hand and you're supposed to be uh, the person who is defending the systems, okay? Now, when the system breaks and you're the last line of defense, uh, you are the one to blame here. So you should learn how to self-learn, okay? You should uh, learn to sit down and research, learn yourself, because not everything should be taught in a course or in an article or in a walkthrough, okay? Sometimes you have to go out and seek what you want yourself. So I'm here to show you guys the reality, okay? I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. Cybersecurity is slow, okay? And in some uh, fields, like in auditing and compliance, it might become bureaucratic. However, it could be rewarding if you can tolerate silence, repetition, and failure. If you, if you can't tolerate all of that, you will actually outlast smarter people. At least that's how I see rewarding careers are built, okay? Not loud, uh, not fast, however, slow, um, focused and relentless. Okay guys, that was today's piece and until then, I will see you later.